So now you're gonna end up, how are you, do you keep these in tempting grooves in? Or what, how, or do you flatten the bottom back out? Nope, it, it's never been flat. It's always right. had that pattern. But it was covered in, I don't know if you saw it before, but when you rubbed your hand across here, it was like rubbing your hand across a gravel driveway. Yeah. It's all rough, and, and if you put your hand on that now, it's pretty smooth yeah. by comparison. Right. So what I did was I washed away all the stuff, and now I can see where the damage is. Like I've got a hole here that somebody patched before, okay, yeah. and I, I don't know what they patched it with, but whatever it was, I it's washed it off. Yeah, it was some kind of liquid that they put on it. And uh, here's there's various spots where there's been things that's happened here. And I'm, but now I can see it. See that part there needs to be right. fixed, and this part, and then every place I see a problem, I can fix. Now, will you be able to just basically pop um, poly your thing over all this, or you got to do individual patching? I'm actually going to patch it. I could do that because mm -hmm. I've got some stuff that that is it's made to reseal. But see, the way I look at it, this is going to get damaged again right. because that's where somebody drove it up on the beach, gotcha. right? So that needs to be stronger than just just fixing it where right. it, where it's sealed. And the same thing, this is the same thing. See, both of you probably got one right in front of your hand there where when this was driven up on the beach, that, that part. part gets rubbed on the ground. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I fiberglass, there's another spot there. When I fiberglass that, I'm going to build it up a little so that it'll be more that can wear down for right. when we want to go to the beach and stuff. Okay. And then I'm also going to be looking for any kind of any kind of holes, any kind of damage, any kind of place where the insulation is missing. And I'm also see that back here. This is probably kind of the same thing. Right. And that could have came from a boat trailer because gotcha. that's on one of those little ridges right there. But I want to make it stronger, but at the same time, I don't want to take away the look. Not so much the look, but this is designed to move through the water yeah. with as little yes. friction as yeah. possible and as stable as possible. So I don't want to throw something on here that's going to slow the boat down, and I don't want to put something on here that's going to make it less stable. I just want to repair everything and keep it as close to its original design as possible because the design of these boats are kind of amazing these boats will they tell me they'll plane off with a nine horsepower motor now that's for right. a, for a boat this big and as heavy as it is that's pretty unusual because right. a lot of boats are really hard to i've had boats with 40 horsepower motors and you can't get them you plane off you know so the hull design is Perfect. is one of the features and uh, of course i've got some side work to do right. i know over on your side there's a bunch of holes and a bunch of things so when I finish this will all be done the whole everything you see here will be done then I'll flip it over and I'll do the inside the top and the inside and while I have this off I'm going to rework that trailer so that I can get this on and off a trailer with as little damage to the boat as possible yeah, so you're going to paint this part like you were thinking yep. about red and this part red or well red. I like the idea that it had a I believe this boat might have had a red stripe on it I know you can't see, but there's there's still the remains of what looks like a red stripe around the water, a little above the water line. Uh-huh. Um, like right there. Right. So what I might do is the the bottom paint is not for decoration. It's for Practical it's made to yeah. yeah. So it it probably going to be a, a whitish color, but not a, a glossy white. Mm -hmm. So probably uh, the bottom paint is going to go on the part that you see that's black because right. that's the part that's been in the water. And if there's more left, I'll keep bringing it up to about that line. When I get to that line, I'll probably go ahead and paint the line because I've got some paint to do it with. But then the sides are going to get bright white paint, but they have to be repaired. And see, right. here's a here's a bad looking ding here right. and another one here, one here. Um, so, but it's going to be several different types of paint between here and that rail there along with some fiberglass work okay yeah that'd be neat yeah that's a good project to have that'll for keep it. me busy for a day or two yeah right now just like that that was neat and this was more of a two-person boat three four this boat just... is designed so that 12 people can ride oh. in it and it's only a 13-foot boat right 
But these boats were, when they came out, they introduced them as unsinkable boat. Mm -hmm. And they're super stable. And the idea that 12 people can ride in this boat is crazy. Yeah. Because uh, most boats, you know, they'll say, they'll, they'll say so many hundred pounds. And I think the, I think this one is like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what the weight is, but it's it's enough for would you figure what twelve people 12 would weigh? People weigh right, <laughs> a couple exactly. thousand pounds. I mean, uh, yeah, a couple thousand pounds maybe or something like that. Uh, so, thank you. No problem. I'll give you a ride back down.